This video is going to review how to find points of intersection using your calculator and how that can help you solve an f of x equals g of x equation. So example one says, what are the solutions to the system of equations? So a solution to a system of equations we know from the previous lessons is a point or points of intersection. So automatically, I am going to cross off choices one and two. And this is a multiple choice, but it's asking you to explain that answer. So I'm going to start my explanation by saying answer choices one and two were crossed off immediately because they are not coordinate points and therefore cannot be a solution to a system of equations. And we'll come back and add to this later once we decide if it is choice three or choice four. So we should know by now that our first equation is a circle because I have an x squared and a y squared and our second equation is a line. So you don't have to label them, but it's important to keep those things in mind. So this is my circle and this is my line. Whenever we have a circle and a line, we solve with substitution. So I have x squared plus y squared equals 5 and I'm plugging in that y 2x to my y here. So I have x squared plus and then I'm plugging in 2x squared equals 5. Now remember this is really 2x times 2x. If I had a binomial I would have to use the box method in order to multiply. I should have x squared plus 4x squared equals 5. Combine like terms so we get 5x squared equals 5. Let me just make this a little bit smaller so we have some more room. Divide both sides by 5. Square root. Whenever we square root, we have to take the plus and the minus. So that means I have two answers. I have x equals 1 as an answer and x equals negative 1 as an answer. But remember, we're finding a point of intersection. So that means I have to have an x and a y. So I have to plug back in, substitute, and get my y value. So y equals 2x. I'm going to substitute in my 1. y equals 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is the point 1 comma 2. Do the same thing over here with my second point y equals 2 times negative 1, so negative 2, so my second point is negative 1, negative 2, which means my answer should be choice 3. So we can go back and add to our explanation. Choice 3 is correct because there are two points of intersection which we found by solving the equation algebraically. So this is multiple choice. I was able to knock it down to two answers right away and then I could plug in from there if I needed to or we solved it algebraically. Let's take a look at example two. The line f of x equals negative 2x plus 3 and the parabola g of x equals x squared minus 6x plus 3 are graphed below. Part A is to state the solution or solutions to the system of equations. So once again, this is my point or points of intersection. So that's this point here, which is the point 0, 3. 
and this point over here, which is the point 4, comma, negative 5. This time, I didn't have to solve algebraically because I have a graph in front of me. Part B says state the solution or solutions to the equation f of x equals g of x. Whenever you see this, that means they are looking for x values only. So you're still going to look to your point of intersection, but I'm only going to pay attention to my x values. So I have x equals 0 and x equals 4. And this is a very subtle difference, but it is a very important difference that you could lose a point for something very silly if you don't pay attention to detail. So please make sure solution to a system is a point x comma y. Solution to f of x equals g of x is just the x value. And that's true whether you are solving graphically or algebraically. So at the bottom, you should have your notes to just fill in the blanks and summarize what I just went over with you. If the equation asks to state the solution for f of x equals g of x, only state the x values for the points of intersection. If the problem asks to solve the system of equations, you must find the point of intersection. So I'm looking for both the x and the y coordinates of the point of intersection. And if you are writing the answer to a question and they are all the same variable, such as x equals 2 and x equals negative 3, we can write it in those curly brackets or set notation. So if I go back, that means that in part b here, I could have written this as 0, 4, if I want it to. But if they are different variables, if they are a coordinate point, x equals 2 and y equals negative 3, we write it in parentheses as a coordinate point. So please be careful there. Now, both of these examples were done either algebraically or with a graph that was already given to you. You can use your calculator, as we've done in the past, y1, y2, and then you can hit the graph button, second, trace, choice five, and find the points of intersection if you need to graphically on your calculator as well.